Hey everybody, we're here to review the experience of playing a very rare game. This is Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cup for the Nintendo 64. At one point this game was only available at Blockbuster Video before they tore them all down. This game started as a rental but now it's a collectible. And before I said we, joining me today, it's not Josh, it's the silent gamer. This person you won't hear at all throughout the, the gaming experience, but you will know that they're enjoying this drink with me. They're also responsible for bringing this rare title to my home, and I thank them so much, and I tell them that uh, you may not be leaving with this copy in your hands. I might be stealing it. We'll see. I don't know if it's enjoyable or not. We're going to check it out. Today's drink, it was hard to pair something with this, but we went with the clay theme. We're drinking Gumby's. The Gumby is made of Midori, vodka, sweet and sour mix, and 7-Up. Roughly equal parts of each. It's going to be a little bit sparkly, but all Gumby-y. And it's green. So what else? Maybe Gumby's in this game. I don't know. Made of clay. We're clay fighting. Let's go Sculptor's Cut. Interplay Clay Fighter in 1997 and 98. This came out across two years. Here's your backstory. In song. This is like a piece from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. This might have come out right around the same time, too, I think. And I remember back when Clay Fighter first came out. I remember uh, Donkey Kong Country was probably the most graphically impressive game that I had seen before this one. And when they came out with this one, I really just thought that they were doing it just because they could. Just because, you know, they finally had this graphic technology that allowed them to make things look like clay, so they made a game out of clay. And if I understand correctly, that's kind of what they did. Ooh, and that Gumby is definitely not made out of clay. We're going to do versus mode because Clay Fighter can only be fought in two. Now, Earthworm Jim is a selectable character somewhere in this game, but not right here. Right here you get all the ridiculousness like Kung Pao, Frosty, pretty obvious names, Blob, Bonker, that one's different, Lockjaw, is a dog, I'll, I'll take the dog. They all have ridiculous voices. So you can imagine being younger and finding this game in a blockbuster video and begging your mom to let you take it home and be like, Mom, it's, it's not that violent, it's just clay. Just clay figures fighting each other. And so far it's got pretty standard fighting mechanics. Fighting games are always tough to drink with though. So I've got a little aftertaste of Gumby following me around as my clay dog is getting his ass kicked by this mad scientist guy. Kind of looks like uh, Beekman or whatever his name was from uh, the Muppets. <laughs> and my dog's fierce growling teeth with his tongue. Look at that. Look at that tongue. Holy shit. It's like the Gene Simmons dog. Alright, I'm gonna just mash on buttons and try to drink my drink. See if I can still win. The silent gamer is uh, struggling to keep up. And I feel like I was allowed to win that first round. Oh, is there a, like a fatality in this? You were just wrapped up in a body bag. That was cool. It's limited with features. I mean, this came from the day of fighting games. I mean, how many fighting games were there that came out at this time? It was just an oversaturated market. Too many games, too much fighting. And they've got blood on the verses. What the hell blood is coming out of clay? You were fighting in a giant toilet. Whose toilet is this? And if we're just on the edge, is some giant ass going to come and sit upon us and squish our clay bodies? 
I'm like the T100 uh, here with my robo arm. Another nice feature about this game, though, is that it allows for alternate uh, button combinations. So what I mean by that is one of the least liked features of the Nintendo 64 by most people that played their Nintendo 64 a lot uh, was the analog stick. It fell apart pretty easily. We're playing on original uh, N64 controllers. Mine still have a little bit of spring in their step, but a lot of gamers just beat the hell out of those things and you find one used and it's barely playable. This game knows that. It had the foresight to realize the Nintendo 64 controller uh, would fall apart and it lets you play with the D-pad. Very rare feature back in the day. The other feature that is rare but you actually see in modern fighting games is the lack of round one, round two. Uh, I've recently been playing the uh, uh, DC uh, superhero fighting game uh, on PlayStation 4. And in that game, it's kind of similar that you don't have a round one and round two. Uh, you have the uh, life running out, and then you fall over and stand back up and just keep fighting. The other guy doesn't renew his health, he just leaves it exactly where it was. And that may have started with Clay Fighter. I don't know. I don't remember other fighters like this. This is an awfully beefy uh, Statue of Liberty here. She's put on a few pounds. Keeps lifting her skirt. I like the uh, Harry Potter-esque paintings in the background that are moving up and down. And that guy's wearing a tutu. What the heck is going on in this game? I, I saw something about a meteorite landing and turning everyone to clay. I didn't see anything putting tutus on men in suits. And come on, with the high quality N64 graphics, you couldn't put a face on those sculptures in the back. This is sculptor's cut. The sculptors don't cut it. They kick some Jack Skellington ass here. Mr. Pumpkin Man doesn't show your character's name, so good luck. If you don't remember who you picked at the beginning, you'll just have to guess. It also gives you uh, a little bit of a beatdown each time you don't get a good combo. It just told me I had a lousy combo. Thanks, game. Itty bitty combo. Well, the Gumby is a little bit harsh. It bites back. I don't remember Gumby uh, being this rough around the edges. You taste the sweet and sour. Uh, I don't taste the 7-Up. I'm going to be the dog again, I guess. Uh, you don't taste the 7-Up. I was expecting a little bit more uh, carbonation in this. I think it just kind of flattens out because there's so many other liquors in it. Or maybe I was supposed to drink it faster and I just didn't. I don't know if this is a shot or a uh, drink. What the heck is this guy? When I think of things that I might make out of Play-Doh, I think a shaman uh, holding a rubber chicken is probably the last thing that would come to mind. Or a dog with a giant tongue. You just came home, and I'm excited to see you. I just want to lick you to death. Ah, with my crappy combos. Just say it, game. Just say you suck. I think that NOA in the background might be uh, Nintendo of America. That's what I'm thinking. We're in the hangar at Nintendo of America headquarters. And these boxes are filled with copies of this game ready to be shipped to Blockbuster videos for children to rent, to bring home and learn violence. Alright, we'll do one more match. The drink is only holding up uh, by virtue of the fact that the game itself is so intense. I'm just mashing the hell out of the buttons here. I don't know what I'm doing. There seems to be some uh, punch and kick 
ele uh, element there, so this is punch, it's a, it, a B, and A's kicking, and then the C button just does all sorts of crazy stuff. Booyah! Yeah, we have the uh, mandatory nunchucks, which post Ninja Turtles are now a needed item for any karate master. Also that karate move and my chopsticks as the game was not pushing enough racial boundaries with the characters themselves. But it's all in fun. It's made out of clay. This isn't real. I'm fighting a freaking clown. He's kicking my ass with your jump shoes there. So you use those shoes to kick me from the ground, but you don't use them to jump. I would think you would use them for some type of a super jump. Seems to have a poor knowledge of uh, how his shoes should be used. There's ghosts in here. I just saw that move. Oh my gosh. I use a walk to block. Really? He just kicked the lollipop out of you. He just kicked one of my teeth away. I do like the 3D transitions though. I might even check out one more board just to see what else we got. Let's be the Zappa Boys. Dweezil and uh, Moon Unit. Except Moon Unit's a girl. I don't think these are Frank Zappa's boys though. These are the clay zappers fighting a giant snowman. The snowman is probably the most iconic character from this game. I think most people remember uh, Clay Fighter because of the snowman, but honestly, he sucked. He was the slowest, weakest character. I mean, the balancing in this game is just horrible. When you think of fighting game balance in modern games, these guys are just swamping the crap, and I'm not even trying. He's just mashing every button possible. So three against one, of course, I'd win. Well, anyway, to review the experience, I'll finish up with the most Gumby-esque character, is the Blob. And I'll try to win with just sipping my Gumby, well, fighting with Gumby. And finish this drink. Um, the drink is okay. I'm going to give it a C uh, overall, and I turn into a horse's ass. That's pretty cool. This is probably the best clay animation. Sculptor's Cut, though, I'm going to say the rarity of it is really cool. It's awesome that I'm able to play this. Uh, I never once dreamed that I would get my hands on a copy of this Blockbuster exclusive, but here I am playing it. And I have to say I'm a bit underwhelmed. That was a dumb combo. Poke my eyes and ass at you. So the game, it's not worth the price. If you're a collector and you want to keep it in your collection, that's great. But if you're not a collector and you're a fighting game extraordinaire, you won't see this game showing up in tournaments, and I think there's good reason for that. It's not a very well-balanced game. It's also not that great for drinking. It's too intense. A lot going on. 3D door transitions. We just went into the factory itself. This is where the presents are made. And the Gumby drink deserves the C. So Clay Fighter, you get a C. Gumby, you get a C. And Silent Gamer, you get... A little girly combo and you beat me barely but you beat me so apparently if I button mash with one hand I can be defeated well everyone thank you so much for watching try this drink yourself if you're interested look it up online tell me what you think 
If you find a copy of this game, try it. If you have any experience with the game, uh, let me know. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. And if you dislike, dislike, but tell me why. Anyway, everyone, take care.